need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pooh for IFL TV. We're here at The Edge. Jim Romford, joined for the first time. Mr. Jack Oliphant, how are you? Yeah, all good, mate. All good, Joe. Brand new, mate. Uh, well, it's the start of your pro career. It's all kicking off today. I know you signed over to take over sport management. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah. bit of promo stuff, bit of photos. Is this the sort of stuff you're going to enjoy heading into your pro career? Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? You feel you feel million dollars, you know what I mean? I think all the training, non-stop, non-stop, that gets boring after a while, do you know what I mean? So it's nice, this just ain't new, this ain't different. Give, me, give myself out there a little bit more. Before we get on to your previous accolades, just talk to me about your link up with Leon and TakeOver and how it all really come about. Yeah, so I, I think I think it's my brother that uh, texts Will as we're looking for, we're looking for a coach, new gyms, uh, looking for a bit of change really. Obviously just, just somewhere where I can improve, get the best out of me and uh, we've got to talk to Will. I've done a few sessions of Will before, yeah, and then decided this is where I was going to be. And then um, from there, he, he obviously he introduced us to Leon. We got to talk to Leon, and everything that he said, it just, we, just, we just connected, we just bonded, do you know what I mean? I think that, that's very important, when you, especially when you're starting off as a pro. I think you've got, to, you've got to bond with them, but yeah, it started off well. Everything's going the way we want it, everything's going as planned, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that link up with Will Jones, obviously, he's one of the probably the biggest up and coming trainers in the UK at the minute. He's got a fantastic stable, slightly changing now, but he spoke to me straight away and said, look, I've got these two twins. They come from a great amateur background and these are, they are something special. So what's it like being in and around the gym? Obviously big, big stable with Will. It's just, just an absolute buzz, mate. Do you know what I mean? I said, when I was at his amateur gyms now, I feel like I wasn't learning much. I was, you know what I mean? I was just, I thought I was doing everything perfect. When I came to Will, he just broke everything down. Made me feel like a beginner again, and that's exactly what I needed. Do you know what I mean? I got to edit myself, so it's just, it's just, yeah, brilliant. I come in here, just a buzz. Just, it's good, to be, good to be around. It's, you're learning, didn't you? Where, where, as an amateur, where I was going, I didn't think I was learning anything. Staying the same, same. We're here, just like I feel like every day, I'm just progressing, but weeks by weeks. So I can only imagine what I'm gonna do by months. You know what I mean? So I'm excited, very excited. We're working with Will. Yeah, let's talk about this amateur background then, because I spoke to a few people who know that side of the game much better than me, and both of you and your brother's names come yeah. to fruition a lot. Um, big fights, just go through some of the accolades you've won. Yeah, so yeah, I've won seven national titles, seven ABAs. I won the school boys, juniors twice, so it's got uh, a year above myself and fight the older boys. And then I've done the youths, and then I won a European gold. I won all the three nations. Basically, win everything that, that there was mm. to win. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I've done very well as an amateur. So now it's time to put it into in the pro game. We just spoke briefly, br uh, briefly off camera about this fight with Janae Boston. Janae's absolutely killing it in the pro game. Yeah, Signed with Matt Troom, yeah. stepping up very, very fast. But you got the unanimous decision over him yeah, that day, and I heard it was a bit of a war. Yeah, yeah. So it's spoken about a lot everywhere I go. Everyone's always talking about it. It, it was a very, very, very good fight. A very action packed. And I, mean, I think. We knew each other beforehand, we were good friends, we're still good friends now, do you know what I mean? But when it's like that, it gets more competitive. We're both top level athletes, fighting for the countries, fighting for England. So when we got into the ring, it was just, yeah, it was just, whoa, toe to toe, having it. There's three eight counts in the fight, so you can imagine, but yeah, it'd be a good one. It'd be a good one for the future and all, do you know what I mean? If he's watching, watching this one back, yeah, but yeah, I'm glad. Certainly, hopefully you're on a collision course and we'll get yeah, that for a big yeah. title in a couple years' time. 100%. But. What was the ultimate decision for you to turn over? You said you're learning so much more now, but there must have been a turning point for you. I just thought I'd done enough. Honestly, I thought I'd done enough as an amateur. I, I couldn't have done any more. Do you know what I mean? I see, like anything, I don't, I don't want to become my hobby. It's just this is what I want to do for a living. This is what I want to do for me. This is, this is what I care about. That's all I think about. So that's, that's what made me come to decision. I thought it's, it's, it's time now. I'm a full grown man. I'm matured. I'm 22. And I thought this, this is it. I'm ready to take over now. Do you know what I mean? So. Where are you at with promotional side of it? Have you had any discussions to the promoters and yeah. when can we get this career going? Yeah, so obviously that's obviously between me and yeah. manager, we're closing the talk, we're still talking about it, getting it sorted, but yeah, but I don't know, mate, it, it, it works in good time. We, we'll just find out when, when it comes. I reckon, yeah, next month we're saying we're getting a contract signed and that, but yeah, it'll, it'll be soon. For anyone who hasn't seen you in the pro game, what sort of style do you bring? 
aggressive, yeah. very aggressive, orthodox, come forward and I think as an amateur, I think I was so excited because I'm very uh, action packed, you know what I mean? All constantly there, constantly there, very aggressive. And I, that's it. I like to break, break my fighters down, you know what I mean? Pick me shots and just break them down, break them down. I'm very fit and strong, so I think I'll be, be exciting pro. You've just listed everything you've won as an amateur, so with that being said, it's going to be hard to hold you back, isn't it, in the pro game because you're going to want to move through the gears, through the levels quite fast. 100%, yeah, I, I'm going to need to move fast. No point waiting about what I'm waiting about for, do you know what I mean? I believe I, I most definitely got the talent. I think my potential shouldn't be questioned as, as well as done as, a, as an amateur. So, yeah, I'll be looking to... I, we're in discussion now, me and Will, my coach, my manager, just how quickly we can move. I just want to get the ball rolling, to be fair. Get the ball rolling, get, get the big fights straight away. So, yeah. Listen, Jack, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV today. Is there anything else you'd like to mention before we close off? Uh, nothing at all, mate. It's been, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure, mate. Hope to talk to you in the future. I mean. 100%. I'll see you soon. And let's get this, uh, let's get this going. Yeah, you've gone sweet, Joe. Cheers, yeah, mate. Thank you very much. You do not be first. Do we do an off? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 